Welcome back to Cooking with Us. Join me in the kitchen today and let me show you how to prepare these delicious curry chana with potato pies. These are crispy on the outside, soft and delicious and beautifully stuffed with some delicious chana and potato. So let's get to it. To start, prepare the dough for our aloo pie and well, our curry and chana aloo pie. Maybe throughout this video, you're gonna hear me saying aloo pie, but it's curried um, chana and aloo pie. Yes, we're taking this thing to another notch. I have here my plain all purpose flour. I'm gonna go in with some brown sugar. You can use the white sugar here. I like the brown sugar in mine. I'm gonna go in with some baking powder and yeast. And do bear in mind, everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience. And you want to just mix everything in well and i'm gonna go in with some room temperature butter and give that a good mix incorporate everything nicely in here now that i have everything nice and mixed in i am gonna go in with some lukewarm water and bring this to a nice dough you're not looking for a sticky dough here or too stiff dough, you're looking for a nice form, but soft dough. So I'm gonna continue doing this process until I achieve the texture I'm looking for. Then I'm gonna come back and show you. This is what our dough is looking like after I knead it for about five minutes, working it here. It's not sticky or anything of the sort. It's nice and workable, soft and nice. And this is what we're looking for. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here on my mat to, you know, sit and rest a little bit. Anyway, from 20 to 30 minutes while we prepare the filling for this. So I'm gonna leave it right here. You can cover it with a tea towel, you know. I'm gonna use back the same bowl that I kneaded in and leave it here to rest. So these are the other ingredients I will be using to prepare our filling. I have here some potato cut up, I'm using some chickpeas um, or chana. I am using the canned one. You can soak fresh one if you would like. Um, for me, I find this very faster and easier to use. I'm also using some garam masala, curry powder, and turmeric. I have here a wiri pepper, some cilantro, also some onion, and some shallot or scallion. So let's put everything together. Here I have my oil heating up. I forgot to mention two ingredients and that is some ginger and garlic paste I will be using to this and also some whole jeera or cumin. So I'm going to add this to my oil and let it start infuse some flavor into the oil. It's about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon here, roughly around that, just eyeball it. So I'm going to let that start to toast up in the oil and flavor that oil and then we're going to go in with our other aromatics. Into my oil, I'm going to add everything I had cut up, my pepper, my cilantro, my onion, scallion, and we're going to start to saute these until they become translucent and, you know, fragrant. That's what you're looking for here. My karahi, I'm going to go in with my ginger and garlic paste and give everything a good mix and it's smelling so fragrant already you know this don't take long to um, saute and i'm gonna go in with my garam masala curry powder and turmeric here and we're gonna start to fry our masala up i'm gonna add some water to this you know to cook it well and i'm adding about a cup of water here to fry this masala well salt to taste and we're gonna come back and check on this now that our curry paste come down back to a nice consistency and it's fried really nice i am going to go in with our potato our cuba potato And I'm gonna add my chickpeas here. And we're gonna start to, you know, bunge this or bunjal it. And we're looking for a dry down, um, you know, bunge masal, um, potato and chana here. You want it to dry down nice. So I'm gonna let this bunge a little bit or bunjal. 
and then I'm gonna come back and add some liquid to this. Now that this, you know, fry up really nice into the masala, I'm gonna go in with some water here. And you wanna add enough water to boil this because you're looking for it to be soft and nice. So I add about two cups here. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. If, um, if it needs more, I'll add more. But you'll have to keep an eye on yours and add water accordingly because you're looking for this to be soft and nice. Now that um, you know most of the liquid is absorbed out of this potato and chana here, and that's what we want. We don't want too much liquid in here. I'm gonna go in with my potato masher and I'm gonna break everything up because you know we want this nice and soft, not too break up. You want some texture to it, but right now this is to your preference. If you prefer it, you know, very mash up or break up, you can go ahead and do it that way too but it's a matter of preference. And this, this is pretty much good for me. It still have some texture there. Um, any big chunk or piece I see, I am going to, you know, um, break it up with my spatula and everything is nice and soft. Of course, I'm gonna bo boil this down further. I don't want too much of the liquid because that's going to, you know, make our pie too soggy and stuff like that. And we don't, we don't need a soggy, soggy, um, Alu and chana pie. But this is tasting delicious and it's smelling amazing. So I'm gonna proceed to dry this down a little bit more and then I'm gonna come back and show you the next step. So this is what our dough is looking like after about 45 minutes. You know, you can do this half an hour to 45 minutes. As you can see, it's spread out nicely. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do, proceed here to do some dough balls so we can start putting our chana and alu pie together so you know this depends on the size you want to do here you can do a big small so i'm going to portion mine out you know to the size i'm looking for then i'm going to come back and show you the next step so to prepare our dough balls what i usually do is i grab them put them in the palm of my hand and I tuck the sides in to make it nice and wrong. Again, put it in your palm of your hand and you're just rolling them and pulling the sides in, tucking the sides in. So I'm gonna proceed to finish this up and then we're gonna start to roll these out and fill them. To assemble our potato and chickpeas pie, I am going to go ahead and Gradually add a little bit flour to our surface here. I'm gonna roll it out and I'm not rolling it out too big. I'm gonna add a generous portion of our filling. And as you can see, our filling is nice and thick. It's not runny or anything of the sort. And that's how you want it here. And we're gonna pull it over, like if you're doing an empanada. You pull it over and we're going to seal the ends and to really seal the ends and secure it i usually go in with a fork and crimp it you know when you're frying this you don't want it to open up in the oil so i'm really um, crimping it there and then i'm gonna take my fingers and push it down you know distribute this all the way you want when you bite into this every piece of this delicious pie have filling so make sure you crimp the ends well and that's it so i'm gonna show you the you know i'm gonna put this aside i have a tray here i'm putting them aside and i'll show you another one start frying pies um, you want to gently add them to your oil slide it down at the side and as soon as you put them over and they start to poof up like that go ahead and flip them you don't want your oil to be too extra hot it's medium to low and you want them to fry to a nice golden brown color You 
you keep flipping them so you know they're easy to work with but you see that beautiful color we're achieving that's what you want so i'm gonna let these fry up nicely then i'm gonna go ahead and take them out of here and voila just like that look at these fried to perfection so crispy on the outside so soft moist and delicious on the inside it's so fully stuffed with that curry chana and potato and it's so flavorful every bite is so satisfying so i hope you guys enjoy this recipe and i hope you try it with your friends and family if you do try it leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on it um, for my vegetarian friends this is the perfect recipe for you so thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen thank you for watching please do not forget to hit that subscribe button share this recipe with your friends and family see you guys soon with another delicious recipe sending our love thanks and gratitude